Hi guys, this is Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner. Today I'm sharing a new design team project for tailor-made cards for you. Before we get started, I want to remind you that tailor-made cards for you is sponsoring a monthly challenge over at Crafters Castle. And this month's prize is the Rusty Rails Kit that I'm using for today's project. Um, first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to distress the edges a bit of my <coughs> card base. I decided to, instead of going with the white, I'm using um, craft card stock. This is the 310 pound from Michaels and I'm going to go ahead and use that for my card base today and since I don't want any of the extra ink to get on the back I am going to mask off the back panel just with some purple tape on um, this is um, purple tape that I got at Home Depot, believe it or not. Um, it's delicate surfaces for from Scotch. So that's the tape I'm going to use. I'm also going to be using Distress Ink from Tim Holtz. This is an antique linen. I tend to find that the darker colors, I guess I've got a real heavy hand because they always come out too dark. I, I don't like the way that they turn out. But this one takes a little bit of work, but it does um, usually gives me the distressed edge that I want. Like you can kind of see it's a little bit darker there where I just added it. So um, that's what I'm using today. I'm also going back to my old, um, just <coughs> my old daubers for this, my old ink blending tools, just because I think that they work really well with this distressing compared to the others. The other, um, other brushes I normally use is for some good ink blending. This is where it really doesn't matter how the ink blending goes. I'm just wanting to get a little bit of color down on the cardstock to give it a little bit of a distressed look on the edges. So anyway, that's the ink blending part and I have to be very careful with this. Looks like that might not work. Uh, even this delicate, even the delicate surface tape still pulled up a little bit of the, the back. So I may, I think what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna cut this panel off and put it on another card base. It'll add a little bit more thickness to the card, but it'll look better than having that torn bit back there. I'm using my guillotine trimmer from Fiskars. I love this guy. And trim that off, but I'll use that other piece for something else later. Okay, so that's the first part of it. Um, one thing that I, I saw a video today um, where someone had put, there's some new products from WOW um, for basically brushing or writing on uh, your embossing fluid onto an image so that it's easier to emboss. And I thought, you know, I bet anything that glycerin would work for that because a while back, you know, I had heard that you could use that to re-ink your embossing pads fairly easily. So I bought some, hadn't really used it, but it turned out that it works great for this technique. So I've just got a regular paintbrush. Actually, I'm going to, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges of this one as well, just like I did in the original. So I'm just adding some antique linen to the edges here. I just when I thought of that just that um, embossing, I thought that would be look so good on that little train. Now all of these images are from Tailor Made Cards for You. It's a digital kit that we're using this month called Rusty Rails, and. I'm going to show you a picture, a picture of the entire set, but I had my scan and cut cut out just the train and then I used a paper trimmer to cut out all the rest of the um, embellishments because the rest of the embellishments were um, all you know squared off so that worked well. But you can see my scan and cut did perfect on this. I told it to put a 0.08 margin around and it cut these out absolutely perfect. It took no time at all. And it's a lot quicker than me trying to me trying to fussy cut these darn things out. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of the glycerin and I'm just going to paint it onto the train and then I'm going to heat emboss it with uh, my well clear gloss embossing powder. So first I'm going to go ahead and turn on my heat gun. So I'm going to be quiet for a bit because I'm going to basically mute out this part, just have music because the heat gun is a little noisy. Okay, now that I've got that there, that done, I'm gonna bring over a coffee filter. Just do this over, and my tweezers, because I don't really want to burn my fingers on my heat gun. And you can probably see all of that white powder is on the image, so it does stick really well to that <clears throat> to the glycerin. And my heat gun's not, not quite hot enough yet, but it'll get there. There we go. And I'm heating on both sides because this the glycerin is kind of wet and it does tend to warp warp the image a little bit. I will kind of smush it down to flatten it out in a little bit, but I would want to let it cool just a little bit first so I don't burn my hand or anything, and I don't get that embossing powder to stick on anything else. That wouldn't be too much fun. So while I'm waiting on that part, I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges on this stub as well. I thought that the pink looks pretty good, but it's not quite as distressed as the rest of uh, the images, so I'm going to just distress that a little bit. Again, using the antique linen on my original, I used one of the darker ones. I think it was a vintage photo, and to me it just is a little bit too dark for my taste anyway. So I'll go ahead and ink that up. Let that one dry a little bit as well, just to get the ink a little bit drier, because I'm going to put add some embossing powder on the edges of that too. So now I'm just taking some gold embossing powder that I've got from Recollections. This is just, just gold. And I'm going to emboss the edges of the background panel that I'm gonna be using. This one has a lot of little trains, and I think that's pretty cute. And I'm just going to kind of smush the edges into my embossing pad here. This is um, the WOW embossing pad. And then just sprinkle some of the embossing powder on. And then I'm gonna scoop up a little bit of it from the edge, tap that off. I love it when it changes from the matte color to the shiny. It just looks so nice. And I am being a little bit sloppy with the uh, embossing with the, the embossing pad and and then the gold on there because since this is more of a distressed look, the line, the uh, the embossing doesn't need to be all nice and pretty. 
so I'm being a little bit rough with it. Get those other two edges done. So we just add some embossing ink on the edges, dip that in my gold embossing powder. Don't know if I can get all four edges, it probably dried too much. Oh, looks like it's good. And then he hit that with my heat gun. And then next we're going to go with this train stub. Okay, so now I've got all of the embossing done, so I can go ahead and start gluing these together. <coughs> I'm gonna to use my art glitter glue for this. And it doesn't take a whole lot. Which is one reason that when you get it, be sure to get one of the little um, tips because it works so nice for a fine line and you really don't need all that much ink. So, I mean that much glue for most projects. So just putting that on there, a little cat a corner. And then this guy, I'm gonna go ahead and put that ticket down. And I am trying something a little bit new. I'm, Normally when I'm making cards, I just come up with the ideas on the fly. And this time around I decided, well, let me try out some things first. Mostly because I wanted to try out that embossing bit on the train before I actually did it on camera. And I like the way that it looks. I use my tweezers to put that in place. That helps me to get things a little straighter. I'm going to put this little train down here. Okay, and let me get a card base and I will be right back. So now I can add that to the front of my card base and that's going to look good. And I'm just going to glue that down with a small bead of our glitter glue. And to make sure that I get it straight on one edge, I like to put the card flat and then lean this up against it at the bottom. 
and line up the edges and that'll make it straight on there so you don't have to trim anything and as a final piece i'm using liquid pearls this is in brass because i wanted to add a little bit more um, embellishment to that first off we've got the little studs on the engine 31 sign so i'm going to create those in brass And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of embellishment, kind of like what I did on the first card. I just love how this card turned out. Please be sure to check out some other projects from the other members of our design team at TaylorMade Cards For You. As an added bonus, Monica has generously providing a discount code for you. So be sure to go ahead and drop on by TaylorMade Cards For You. I'd love to see what you create, so shoot me an email at the address listed below. Here are some other videos that I think you might be interested in. Thanks for dropping by and happy crafting.